point of order, Patricia Gibson. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I wish to raise a point of order on behalf of my constituent, Lizanne Zeitzman, who is a wife, businesswoman, employer, and valued and respected community member on the Isle of Arran. She has been ordered to leave the UK by the 12th of July by the Home Office. Okay. Now, I have taken this most urgent matter up with the Immigration Service and the Immigration Minister. And to further highlight this case, I have tabled an early day motion and will present a petition to Parliament on, to show the strength of feeling about this matter. Given the urgency of this case, can you, Madam Deputy Speaker, advise me what other avenues are open to me to do all I can to have this appalling decision reversed to prevent Lausanne having to leave her husband, her business and her community in nine days' time? Here, 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 Patricia. I thank the Honourable Lady for her point of order. Uh, once again, the Honourable Lady is well aware that I cannot uh, give her an answer as to the substantive point which she raises, as it is not a matter of responsibility for the Chair. But it is the responsibility of the Chair to make sure that the, the floor of the House is properly used uh, in order to draw to the attention of the appropriate Minister any such serious matter as that which the Honourable Lady has described, and I'm quite sure that uh, the Honourable Lady, having taken the opportunity to raise this matter on the floor of the House, forgive me, but my voice is not working very well today, and I would be really grateful if the government quips would not speak in a loud voice while I am trying to address the House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that it's very unusual for the occupant of the chair not to be properly heard, but perhaps just a little bit of courtesy would be appropriate. The Honourable Lady has raised a very important point. I'm quite sure that, having done so, it will be conveyed to the appropriate minister and the minister will take the appropriate action.